Hey guys, today we are heading out to do our uh, fire challenge. It has been raining all night, you can see. So we're gonna hit the cabin, park the truck, and then head over to our personal space. And go from there. Hey guys, just a little detour here. We uh, just parked the truck to get ready to head out for our uh, Cable Guy Can Challenge, or Fire Challenge. And we got us a grouse. Pays to have a sh uh, truck shotgun in. But, uh, so that was a little bonus. I love walking these uh, old logging roads. Uh, that's what we're going to head into is a uh, 100 yards down, down. I've got my uh, personal space I use, probably 200 yards in, uh, down this old logging road here past the cabin. So we're going to head down there. We're going to walk this down. We're going to collect tinder as we go. Uh, the challenge is... Uh, the challenge is to use your left hand only, your non-dominant hand, and then only with your uh, your EDC, the things that you showed in your EDC video that you carry on you every day. Um, obviously, if I was out in the woods, like today I'm bringing my pack with me, I'm out here by myself, so I always have my pack with me out in the woods. And typically when I'm out in the woods, I also, guys, I'll throw stuff in my pockets. My knife will be on me, my handgun will be on me, and then... <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a Tinder tube that I also keep in my pocket. I won't be using that for the comp for the uh, challenge. I'll just be using what I showed in my everyday video, what I carry on me all the time, except when I'm in the shower or sleeping. And even when I'm sleeping, and they're in my pants, waiting for the next day. So um, we're gonna do that. Get uh, loaded up here. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm taking my other pack with me too. Like I said, I'm in the woods. I'm in the north woods of Wisconsin, where I'm. There's thousands of acres of state forest here and fe and federal or national forest, so you lost it here pretty easy if you don't know your way around, but, um, so that stuff always goes with me out here, um, so we'll get started on it, uh, we're, the challenge today is with your non-dominant hand, um, start a fire, you know, and with me, of course, my EDC was my keys, which are always on me, and I always keep a fire steel on my keys and a little Leatherman Micro, I've also got my, uh, wallet and whatever's in there. My TDI knife, which isn't much for processing wood or anything. Might be, we'll see if it uses for scraping. And then uh, my blind horse knife, Tiger Nap. I bought this uh, back in the 2010 uh, Pathfinder Gathering. This has been on me every day since. I love this knife. I've also, uh, typically when I go to the woods, this actually switches from my neck knife. I've got a piggyback for my other sheath, but that's not what I have on me every day, so. So let's get loaded up and we'll head out. Actually, I might have to clean that grouse first. So, here we go. Alright guys, I figure while I'm out here, I might as well do a video on how to process wild game here. Uh, we're gonna, on these I'm just gonna skin it. So I'm gonna start, I've already pulled the head off. I stepped on the head and pulled it off. That was kind of quick clean kill there. I'm gonna start. Now with birds, if they're fresh, a lot of times you can just take your fingers in here and rip, rip the skin right off. I like to skin my birds, it's just the way I'm used to doing it. You're basically just undressing them. Make sure frame there. You see how when they're fresh like this, everything just kind of pulls off. Everything around their legs. See, it just pulls right off like that. Just work your way around. Take your fingers and just dig in there and separate the skin. Again here we've got Get between the leg and the skin there, and just pull, and it comes right off. Then we'll cut the legs off afterwards. At least that's what I do. There's probably many different ways to do it. Lots of feathers here. Doesn't take a whole lot. It's these birds, all the feathers, you can see it just everything just peels right off. Even the wings, you can peel them right down the wings. That'll give you the most use of the meat. It's like little chicken wings. When you get to the back side of the feathers here, you just gotta see so you got the wing tip here you take and grab right here. And they just pull. They'll yank right out of the right off the meat. When you get to that tip, we can just cut that off. That's nothing edible there, really. Do the same on the other side. And you want to get all the feathers. 
as many as you can. Once you get to the back side of the arm, oh, not enough yet. They just yank right off. And the coyotes will love all this extra guts and stuff. All right, again, you see the wings there. That's kind of the, I don't know what the feathers are called, but the big one. Just grab that, and they pull right off. Clean it up really good. Have to take this to the stream and rinse it some, too. All right. Now we've got the legs. We'll cut the legs off, the wing tips off, and then we'll gut it. Tail just pulls right off. Alright. Now for cutting these, you don't really have to go through the bone, you can just kind of work it around. Just follow the joints and then just snap and pop it off. That way you're not dulling your knife too much cutting through the bones. See how they just pop the bone? cut inside that joint. Same with the feet. Just break the joint and cut the tendons in between. Now, there's not a lot of meat on a grouse compared to a chicken or something, but they taste good. Alright, so now we got all the joints off, I'm just going to clean off the bird here, pull off loose feathers before we gut it here. Actually, I'm going to grab my water here and rinse it off some. The last bit of feathers off the feet, make sure I'm in frame. Now, something to remember too, if you're going to do this, I would recommend, at least where I'm at, You've got tons of bears and even more wolves. Uh, don't do this by your camp, especially gutting it. Do that away from your camp, and even if you can, bury it a little bit. And then with a small bird like this, too, you gotta remember, when you pattern your shotgun. I've got a little 410 I keep in the truck. Uh, you can see I, some BBs in the neck. I aim just for the head. I didn't. The bird this small, you don't want any pellets in the breast meat because that's pretty much your main meat. It won't hurt anything, but the lead just doesn't taste that good. So, all right. The fun part, all the little feathers. Just clean off your best you can. And I'll show you how to gut it. All right, I've moved it onto my 55 uh, gallon drum liner just to keep the leaves off it a little bit here. Okay, when you're going to gut it, what I do, you'll see this line right here along the bottom of the breast. That's your gut cavity. Now what you're going to want to do, what I do anyway, is cut along here, reach your hand in, and yank everything out. Cut it very carefully, trying not to split the guts. <clears throat> you want to taint your meat if you don't have to. And that spreads open. Now there is a way, if I wanted to, like a lot of sport hunters do, you can take and rip the breast straight off of here. But that wastes a lot of meat. If you know survival situation, you want to make sure you keep as much meat as you can. But you can just rip the breasts off from there. Just reach your hand in, make sure your knife isn't somewhere where it's gonna get lost, and just pull. There are your guts. Good bait. Uh, there's a heart and liver in there. That would be good eating. Here's the heart. Little tiny thing, but it's protein. Save that. And also what I'm going to do is get in here and just... There's, uh, I believe they're the lungs, up top along the back of the ribs here. And those just... you got to put quite a bit of pressure on to just scrape them. Scrape them out. Got to cut along the back here. 
Get the last entrails out. And also to get the rest of the lungs out, you'll see it, it kind of sticks to one side of the breast meat here. Just cut along that just to loosen it up, and that all pulls out. All right, and that's pretty much it besides rinsing. Rinse it off, clean it up, and throw it over your stove. If I get the fire going, we'll see, I might, uh, I just ate lunch, but see if I decide to cook it or not. I'll just wait home and do it for supper. But there you go, a good breast meat. Be a nice quick little supper. All right, well, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see. I'm not sure if I'll get a fire video of this going or not. I won't have time much to cook it today. But uh, basically how to clean your wild game. Uh, a lot of these, if you walk slowly enough on the trail, if you had a 22, a 22 would be more than enough to to get most of these. Uh, we can't here in Wisconsin. So I, that's why I carry a shotgun. If I know Minnesota, you can hunt them with a 22. We do that up there. Um, so... Easy game to get. Around here they're plentiful. Um, so that's all there. All we've got for today. Good, good gross, gross meal. This would hold you over for a while. And there's plenty of them. So. And then you also got all your feathers and guts and stuff that'll be good uh, bait. Alright. I don't think there's anything else to say besides boy, uh, besides, I don't know. All right, well, thanks for watching. That's our uh, wild game cleaning video. Hope that helps somebody. It was just kind of an impromptu too here. We're on our way out to do the challenge and uh, saw a grouse here, so we shot it. So we are going to go and finish our rainy day fire challenge, left hand only. Thank you. Bye. All right, guys, as I'm walking out here, I'm going to be looking for, especially when it's raining, this is very important, I'm going to be looking for tinder, uh, dry stuff up under trees. And again, I'm going to use my left hand only for anything. I'll use the right hand to hold the camera here, but I wouldn't have a camera in a regular situation. So I'm looking for, like this is alive, but dead trees that are up off the ground. I want those, I'll snap off. I'm going to be grabbing those as I go so I can um, have dry, as dry as possible stuff that I'm looking for. But you want is stuff that will snap. Stuff's still a little wet. We're going to be taking that stuff, stuff it in our pockets. This is a dead one, but it's soaked up a lot of moisture. Uh, we're going to have to use some wet stuff. It's just the way it is. But there's also a lot of deadfalls here. Uh, back towards my personal space, I've also got... Uh, it's by a bunch of deadfalls like this, so I'll be able to pick a lot off of there. I'm also looking for birch trees. Birch uh, bark is a good resource to have. So I'll be looking for some of that, and I've got some cattails I can probably find down here. That's a good source, too, so I'll start looking for those. I'm going to turn my camera off while I kind of look for some of this and walk in. I'll turn it on as I find some stuff and just gather it up here. All right, so much stuff we're going to grab is a lot of this light grass. It's wet, but it's small. It's what we want. When we're working with wet stuff, we want to go as small as possible. We need a lot of that to, to keep it going, this dry, dead grass stuff. I said, just keep your eyes open and, you know, you got to be looking for, for tinder as you walk. It's not always where it is when you get to it. So I always carry on me a dump pouch or big cargo pockets. Ah, here we go. See? Look down here. This is an old dead fall. There's some birch bark. You see this stuff never rots. It actually rots off the log. There's a huge chunk of it. Actually, you can see the whole trunk in here. So we'll pull off some of that. Scavenge off of that for some fire starter. Right there is some uh, some gold right there. 
And we'll grab some of these branches too. All right. Left hand only again, holding the camera with the right. Also in the same spot, you can see this. Get over here. This dead pine tree. This has a lot of dried needles on it. They're wet now. Got all the rain falling off of it. But we're going to grab some of this. Pine has a good pitch in it. Sap, and also these needles, once they dry out a little bit, should be helpful. There we go. We'll see how we can get going. All right. One thing I'm noticing, you can't take as uh, big of trips. One hand, you only can uh, carry so much at a time, and it's harder to pick up. Something to keep in mind. I'm actually half tempted to stay in this area right here instead of going out to my shelter. Because there's a ton of deadfall stuff here. And some good pine cover that might be pretty dry. So. The problem is my fire ring is over there. And it's safer to do the fire over there. But of course it's raining, so. I'm not going to start any forest fires. All right, I turn my shelter is back in there, so a little farther than the turn in, and we'll start working on some tinder. That'll be the fun part with one hand, because anytime you get all this wet stuff, you gotta split something down, scrape it. Ooh, I like that. See that dead pine tree there? There'd be a lot of good tinder there. Actually, I might just stick right here, because it is raining, and there's a ton deadfall here. I think I'm going to do that. Alright, we'll get set up and get back with you. I didn't see another dead birch over there. Yeah, like I said, we know where we're going. We know how to get there. But, about 100, 200 yards away, which isn't far, but if it was farther, the resources are right here right now for what I need uh, for this rainy weather. And if you were to try to hike out somewhere, or to get where you're going and not get a fire going while you're still wet, you know, hypothermia set in. So we're going to take advantage of what we got here. I said all this deadfall, I've got this dead pine that's got some good limbs that have been protected from the rain a little bit. I wouldn't set a shelter up here because it's a windfall, but also I've got all this birch bark. So this is a gold mine. So we'll get our fire going here. Shouldn't be a problem with all this stuff, hopefully. See how one-handed it goes, and get back to you. All right. It's nice and dirty trying to carry that one-handed. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off here and get set up. All right, it's raining pretty good here again. I'm gonna get some more birch bark here. Most time this stuff just peels right off. The problem is it's been raining all day. That's going to be a big challenge. One handed is a challenge too, I'll tell you that. I'm also going to get over here and grab some of this dead stuff. This is still wet. Huh? Not too bad. If you see in there, there's a lot of sawdust that the termites have been uh, chewing on. Real dusty stuff. That might be useful here. I'm actually going to pull a bunch of my tinder off of this with my knife if I can too. We can just hear it. it's downpouring pretty good. Being in the pines here helps. I did throw out my tarp that was in my other bag to help keep the camera dry. So. That wasn't my EDC, but it is raining. So, anytime I'd be out in the woods, I would have that. Alright, I'm going to be careful here and collect as much of this dust as I can because this is still dry. I'd get my knife and just scrape it off if I had my other hand to catch it in. But... Okay, I mean, that's a good tinder. Get some of this stuff here. You want to keep that dry, so... 
All right, well, I'm gonna collect a bunch of that, get this camera out of the range some more, and get back to you. All right, I'm actually gonna show you how dead this is, and with that bark, it was keeping it dry. So I'm gonna do it with my left hand. I'm actually gonna cut some strips out of here. That's what I'm gonna be cutting a bunch of those. So, just you know, one-handed, I was able to do it. I'm gonna keep doing it here. Get the camera back out of the rain. Get back to you here. All right, guys. I don't know if you can see this. If it's in the frame or not. I'm just following the cracks down for my knife in, popping it off. Just working my way around. Pops a pretty good section. Set it in a pile. This does take a lot longer one-handed. But it is doable. Like I said, you, what you got to do when you're in these situations is open your eyes. You got to be able to see uh, natural tinders, good shelter spots. You know, like resources like this. Uh, this is the only dry tree that I can find around here. That's because I had dried bark around it standing vertical so it keeps the water off of it. Be careful not to snap the knife off here. Most of this is pretty dry and rotten. So. Woodpeckers have had their way with this tree quite a bit and a lot of the K in it, which is good, it's dry. So, alright, just want to show you that. Keep out of here and get the camera back out of there. Hey guys, just want to show you this. Uh, it's a tarp I set up for my uh, camera. Just in the 10 minute little rain shower we had there. Water. So if you're going to be short on water and didn't bring any, and you got a tarp and it's raining, that's a good source. That's quite a bit there, and I had another puddle there. If I would have pulled this up more, I would have had a lot more, and it's still going to rain through the night, so... If I needed water, that's a good source right there. Fresh drinking water. All right, keep collecting some air. I think I got enough tinder to to get this thing going, and then I just need enough sticks to sustain it here. So I'm gonna go back to the pine tree and yank a bunch off as far up as I can reach. Here we got another birch bark tree. Actually, that's pretty rotten if I push that down. All right, I'll show you how much I've butchered this thing so far. Taking off a bunch of chunks there, ripped out a bunch in the bottom. Like I said this is all good dry. You can see here, that's going to light up pretty good. I love termites. This one in your house, but I mean, look at that, that's like pre made fire tinder. Put it in my cargo pocket here. My pants are going to be dirty. I mean, look at all that. Hopefully that'll take with the ferro rod. I don't get too wet here getting into my pants. I think my cell phone's in that pocket too. That'll be good. Alright, now these branches up here, I'm going to snap them off. I'm going to go set the camera down while I do it. And hopefully those will be dry enough to take a light. Alright. Alright guys, we got our EDC here with these. Now the fun part will be getting it off with one hand. off this side. Got our fire steel. Should put those back on my belt here. I keep those on my left side so that's fairly easy. Now I'm gonna be using my neck knife. There's a couple ways to do this. If I had a bigger log I could stick it in and pull my ferro rod across it here. I'm gonna have to hold my knife up and try to spark off of it. I don't know if this will take or not. This is just that shaving stuff. Oh, there's a little ember.
this up dry enough. This mare landing the spark in the right spot. Almost. Yeah, I'm going to shave down some other drier stuff and get back to you here. This is the fun part. Can you see that? Uh, soft punky stuff on here. Hopefully I'll take a light. I used to carry a blast match, one of the one-handed ones, but I broke it. So it doesn't get carried anymore. Kinda wish I was had it now, but they're just bulky on the on the keychain to carry all the time. They do make those little ones and my wife's got one of those, the little sparky things. But again, that one pops open all the time and it's pretty bulky. All right, let's give this another try here. Oh, that's close. I get a spark to land on this, I think it'd be in good shape. Nope, well, gonna die out. I need something underneath this knife, it keeps sinking lower. Yeah, it's something walking around in the woods over here. I don't know if I like that. Smoldering. Let's try a little different here. Move. I've got my tinder on a board here. I'm gonna move this. Get the knife laying a little flatter. Ooh, we're smoldering. Not enough though. Let's get lots of sparks on there. Slippery wind wet. Alright, I'm going to reconfigure and uh, give this a try again here. Alright, let's try this again. It's just a little damp. Got an ember there.
Saturday. Struck some more while that sits. Getting the rain on it here too. Oh, you know what I can do? I got my wallet yet. I'm gonna pull some receipts out. Since there's never any cash in me. Wow, that's harder than it looks. Try to get your wallet out of your pocket with your left hand. Alright, here we got this. Some cash. Receipts. Oh, and I did have that uh, cotton in here. That one's still... This one here is still uh, burning a little bit. Everything's just getting wet on me. Rain changed. All right, pull a cotton out. Some receipts. I hope I don't need. Wow, got a lot in there. They're all getting wet. So it is my EDC. So we will try it. All right, here we've got some receipts. I do have more in my pocket if this doesn't work. I may have to cut this short. It's actually getting pretty bad out here. All right, we're gonna see this cotton light, which it should. I forgot I always keep that in there. That's another thing. Check your resources. You may have something stuck in your pocket that you didn't know you had. That doesn't even want a light. Everything is just soaked. There we go. Wow, that didn't even stay lit. This ember over here is still going though. It's not strong enough. But, if cotton's in my wallet, we'll use it. Wow. Light! There we go. Now I'm gonna to wanna to get this wood that I've got here going and dried out as quick as possible, but I don't wanna smother it. So I've only got a handful of receipts left. Pull these out if I don't need them. It's my birch bark. There it is. Even this dry stuff is just taking a long time to, to light here. Guess it just got rained on too. Smoke. Nowhere near. Whew. Wind change. There, that's a little better. Get some of the little stuff on here. Stuff doesn't want to burn that great. It'll take a while to get this sustainable, so. 
my knife and fire steel where I can find them. Just keep putting little pieces on. Gotta be careful not to get this too big too here, so I'll just get it sustainable and then I'm gonna have to put it out since I'm not staying the night or anything, but wow. Wow. Got my magic birch bark. Keep putting some of that on there. Alright, well I would call that sustainable. Again, if it wasn't raining, I probably wouldn't have needed the uh, receipts and paper in my wallet, but I had them so I used them with how wet it is. Uh, this stuff is pretty dry, this will stay burning. Again, if it wasn't raining, i got more than enough wood here to sustain me all night, no problem. Even now, some of this uh, wet stuff on here. I'm gonna have to switch sides here. This fed puts the start. I'll we'll put the start putting some of these uh, wet ones on here. So I would consider this a sustainable fire right now. With a bed of coals, it's kind of in there. Get a closer look here. I'm out my camera. It's going pretty good. So I'd call that a success. Hopefully, hopefully you agree. We'll burn this for a little bit, dry off a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, I just will finish this video off here. Uh, again, this was the Cable Guy Ken contest, and also I want to show you guys, you know, it is raining out. I did have to throw a tarp up for my gear and stuff and to keep my camera dry, but I'm actually not under it much. I'm actually getting wet sitting here. Oh, the flamed here. But uh, that, I would say, is a sustainable fire. Nice and hot. Uh, that was all left-handed. I pulled all my stuff off of a pine tree and picked up a bunch of birch bark, and I'm drying off... Uh, bunch of limbs as I go. Just start with that and build it up from there with some of these that are drying out. So that's what you want to do too is to get your stuff drying while it's uh, waiting. But a couple of things I've learned here is uh, it's not easy going left-handed or one-handed for the fire so you can do it. I will be incorporating a different tinder into my uh, EDC. Like I said I normally have stuff in my wallet but I'll probably be switching to something a little more surefire like my uh, fire starters which I'll be doing a video on here to finish out that I'm making. Uh, here you got a good bed of coals in there. Um, and just always be prepared. Like I said, uh, this is my everyday carry on me no matter what. Not my woods carry. My woods carry is over there. It's a saber cat packed full and I can on top because I was hearing stuff out here and I'm pretty sure it might be a wolf. Uh, we've got a ton of those around here, so that's always at the ready. Not that's going to do much, it's a P-22, but it's something. Uh, fire is a good thing, quick shelter to have. Uh, shelter and a poncho. You know, what are you going to do if you set your shelter up to keep your stuff and your fire dry and then have to go out and get wet collecting tinder, you know. So a lightweight poncho and a, a good tarp is a necessity, I think, for if you're in the woods. This isn't the everyday carry, but a fire is possible. Uh, this is what I would consider probably the worst conditions besides maybe a blizzard or something. But it, it's raining, it's been raining for the last couple of days and we were able to find, you know, that pine tree over there and other dry tinder and where I'm at we have a lot of birch bark and cedar. So that was a big plus. 
So again, thanks for the contest. This is always fun to get out and test, uh, practice different skills. Uh, Left-handed again. Let me just show you here the way we did it. We propped up our knife, stood on it up against the stick, and then pulled our fire steel against it. Um, that's nice and warm. So that's basically what I used for this challenge: my fire steel off my kit, some uh, receipt tinder in my wallet. That was a big help. So tinder will be added to my EDC, and then the knife. So there's your survi survival tools. Again, if it wasn't raining, I wouldn't have the tarp up. Uh, that's with me when I'm in the woods anyway, all the time. But if I was in an urban setting when this, where this is all I had, I could easily find shelter enough to, to do something. So that is it. Again, this is what I used with some receipt paper and uh, some dryer lint that I keep in my wallet. And we've got a fire going. Uh, again, thanks for watching. Thanks for the contest. See you all later. more water just in time I was out here. Pretty dry on the way in, not bad. Life is good, gotta love the woods. And the mud. Alright, see you later.